Today we discussed in HTTP POST request how do we post data as form data instead of request payload. As you know, this is a typical HTTP POST request, and we send input request in the form of data as specified here. But in some cases, this format doesn't work. For example, when we try to send input request within this double curly bracket, the HTTP POST method doesn't submit the input request. Let's consider how to avoid this situation. Normally, in HTTP POST method, the input data is sent as request payload. But if we try to send as form data, we can resolve this issue. Let's consider one example here. For submitting the input request as form data, we have to add two more lines. That means the headers line and the, we have to serialize the input request. The format of the headers is shown here and we have to append this line within our HTTP POST method as shown here. And the second step is that we need to serialize the input parameters. For that, we use $param. As you can see in this example, I have included the angular.min.js and on my web page, I'm making one HTTP POST request to one of the web services. On my web service, dataservice.asmx, there is one method named getData. It has one input parameter of string data type. If you can see, I have included the header section within this HTTP POST request and I have serialized the input parameter by using $param property. Let's run this application to test whether this works or not. The breakpoint is hit right now. That means when we have included these two lines on my HTTP POST request, we are able to submit the input request to the web service. By this way, we can send input request as form data instead of request payload in HTTP POST method. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please visit technomark.in for more information.